Ciao a tutti Milanisti! My name is Sluba, nice to meet you and I'm very happy to start my own podcast about AC Milan. Today's episode will be dedicated to history of Milan in Europa League. So, is AC Milan a frequent guest in Europa League? Who is the footballer who plays the most matches? What is the highest stage reached by Rossoneri? And of course, AC Milan or Inter Milan, who is better in Europa League? Well, I'm here to tell you these things and so, let's get started. If to say in general, history of Rossoneri in Europa League is not too rich. Milan is a frequent guest more likely in Champions League, but I think Milan is not a guest there. Seven titles, guys! UEFA Champions League is a home for Rossoneri, who tends to win the second division of Euro Cups. Firstly, Europa League was introduced in 1971 as the UEFA Cup and it replaced the Intercity's first cup. The UEFA Cup was the third third competition from 1971 to 1999, and in 1999 the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup was merged with UEFA Cup and discontinued as a separate competition. From the 2004-2005 season, a group stage was added before the knockout phase. The competition took on its current name in 2009 following a change in format. The 2009 rebranding included a merge with U for Intoto Cup, producing an enlarged competition format with an expanded group stage and the change in qualifying criteria. AC Milan has played 101 matches in general from the season 1971-72 to the season 2020-2021, including 53 wins, 25 draws and 23 defeats. So, the rate of wins is 52%. The highest numbers of seasons in one decade in which Milan has participated in Europa League is 4. It was in 1970s. The highest stage reached by Rossoneri is semi-finals in the 1971-72 and 2001-2002 seasons. Most matches played by players is 26 by Frank Kessier, and the highest number of goals is 10 and it belongs to Patrick Coutrune. Well, what is further? We have not compared AC Milan with Inter Milan yet. Well, I wanna say that as Milan fan I tend to always say that my club is better. Inter Milan has played 192 matches participated in Europa League in 28 seasons. By the way, short interesting fact. In general, just 28 clubs have won Europa League. And okay, now let's return to Inter. They have won just 99 matches with the rate of wins of 48%. I wanna remind you that the rate of wins of Milan is 52%. So, you can make your own conclusions by yourself. So, if to compare winning rates, Milan is better. If to compare these two clubs by their performances, Inter is better. Inter is better in the Europa League, Milan is better in the Champions League, and guys, are we talking about real homes of clubs of Milan City? Yes, we are. So, the only thing that I can say just let Milan cook and of course thank you very much for listening to the first episode of my podcast write below what was good what was bad and what should I tell you about in the next episode so stay tuned have a nice day and forza Milan